What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Tile Tool Tuesday. One year ago we acquired this, the 10 inch IQ tile saw. It is dustless. It is waterless. I've had a lot of questions about do we still have it? Obviously yes. How do we like it after a year of use? Is it worth the investment? So we're going to go over all of the questions all of the pros, all of the cons. We have cut thousands of square feet of tile, mainly porcelain tile, hard porcelain tile, ceramic, stone, a thousand square feet of slate. We have cut large slabs of quartz for countertops, bench seats. We have put this saw through the ringer, put it to the test. What we're gonna do is really simple, quickly run some video clips of the usage on this tile saw, come back, quickly talk about the pros and the cons. Yes, there are some cons with this tile saw. Also show you how accurate it still is by quickly ripping this three foot dark brown porcelain plank. Let's quickly run some clips of this machine in action over the past 12 months. Before we talk about the pros and cons, let's quickly bring the camera up close, show you what kind of condition this saw still is in after one year of heavy use. Well, here it is. It's a bit dusty, a bit dirty. Easy way to clean this saw is with a blower or a simple duster from your house, your home. But it's holding up very well. We'll start with the tray. The rubber looks worse than it really is. It's very smooth. It's holding up absolutely fantastic. The bearings, the tray, the movement is still smooth, no slop. Move on down here. We have not changed this filter out. We do this three times a day. We haven't had a reason to. It sucks very, very well, very strong. All of the silica dust down into this tray over here. The wheels are holding up great. I may want to pop this off just to take a peek, but I'm sure that filter is just fine. Again, laser still works. All of the parts still work. The bolts, the nuts are still tight. All in all, it's still in great shape after a little over a year of use. They seem to build these with good quality and they seem to build them to last. Now this video is mainly for all of those people out there considering purchasing this unit here, the IQ 10 inch dustless tile saw. The pros and cons are very, very simple. The pros, very quick setup, very quick breakdown. You don't have to fill the tray up. You don't have to drain the tray. You don't have to clean the saw very often. It saves you a lot of time. And one of the best parts of having a waterless saw, you can use it indoors without the dust. It's a lot smaller and much more compact than your traditional, let's say, 10 inch DeWalt D24000. So it is compact, it does fit in small areas, and it saves you a lot of time. It helps you to complete that project that much faster. Also, the tray is very, very sturdy. There is no slop or play within the tray, so it cuts clean 
and accurate every single time. The filters seem like they are good quality. You don't need to constantly replace them. And lastly, this saw seems like it's built very, very well with very good quality. It's built to last a very, very long time. So you won't waste your investment on this after a year, two years, five years. It seems like it'll go 10 plus years without any problems at all. Now the cons, it sits very low, probably lower than most full-size tile saws out there. These blades seem to burn out a lot quicker than your wet tile saw blade. Depending on how many cuts you make, you buy two blades a year versus one blade a year. But now $100 in one year is a tiny price to pay in comparison to the time you will save with this tile saw, as well as just the simple convenience of not having to deal with water, whether it's freezing cold water or just simply messy water. And the very last con is the price. It is double the price of your 10 inch Delta tile saw, your 10 inch DeWalt tile saw, but we made that back within two projects. Let's rip the three foot plank. Let's quickly check and I'll show you the cut edge up close. Two. One and 15 sixteenths. And there's the cut. Clean it up with a diamond pad and you're good to go. And I can confidently tell you this is a great investment.